Hi, today we've got another update on how to further improve and modify your Subaru EJ Series engine. And beside me, I've got some CNC ported heads that are the latest update to an engine we're doing a rebuild for a car that will be competing at World Time Attack later on this year. And it's a Subaru uh, GC8, so it's an MY99 2000 model. It's had some pretty heavy modifications in the past. It had a, a failure. Uh, last year and the client has brought the car to us not because we built the previous engine but he wanted us to do a fresh and an update and look for more reliable improvements so what we're going to talk about is why do you want a CNC ported head well many many years ago um, Cosworth came out with a range of CNC machined heads which were very very consistent and very reliable with uh, first oversized valves and the reason why we're talking about this is on an EJ series engine, after you approach the typical modifications such as you know, a, a bigger turbo, pistons and rods and things like that, you start limit re approaching the mechanical limit of the efficiency of the flow of the air or the gas in and out of the combustion port of the engine. So you know, you, if you want to get it into the engine through the inlet manifold, you might put a bigger air intake or you might put a, an aftermarket inlet manifold. But of course, you're still dealing with the original factory ports into the engine. And then, of course, when you want to get it out, you might have a big set of extractors and big exhaust pipe. But of course, you still got the original factory exhaust valves. So you want to go to um, the next level above that. That's when you would then put some cams in. But the trouble is the cams are still deal dealing with the limitations and the mechanical ability of how much air um, you can effectively get in and out of that uh, head in the combustion chamber. So. What the first thing is most people would do is go to uh, a ported and polished modification to the uh, intake and exhaust. But the downside these days of paying someone with a die grinder and the die grinding getting inside the areas is you're working on the elements of memory and assumption. And the point that I make on that is, is when you're talking about the Subaru EJ series heads, some of the inlet and exhaust ports have got a lot of aluminium material that you can remove to make them physically bigger, but some of the ports get very, very close to the water galleries inside the head, which are part of the casting designed to keep the engine cool. And of course, the last thing you wanna do is start getting too close to those water galleries by minimizing the wall thickness of the aluminium that you're machining away to make the ports bigger. So um, the trend some time ago which was the most popular option was Cosworth pioneered the um, CNC machined inlet and exhaust ports, which then allowed consistent, repeatable, guaranteed results day in, day out on every set of heads that they did. Put a good set of uh, first oversized valves and a good set of cams, and you had a repeatable option again and again without any human element of memory or trying to work out what was right or wrong. So unfortunately, uh, a little while ago, Cosworth stopped manufacturing those heads, but more recently we've been able to source some options of that type of uh, technology again recently. And beside me, I've got one of those um, heads here now. So the way to tell it is, if you look carefully, you can see the actual machine marks of where the head of the, of the uh, CNC robot moves the grinding wheel as it goes into the port right down inside. And it's very, very hard to see, but you can see right down the bottom there, as it moves in and depending on your theory of technology, um, there is a theory that you want some little bit of distortion on the sidewall to um, increase airflow. Some people work on the theory you want it as smooth as possible. The upside and the downside is of what school of thought you think related to stiction of um, uh, vapor and uh, airflow through pipes and things like that. But that's another pointy headed stuff that we won't even get into. But what I wanted to show you was the difference. So beside, this is that, these are the heads off the GC8, a little bit different in their casting compared to um, the later 01, but I've got a set of 01 model heads and you can see these ones have been in an engine for just a short period of time. And you can see the casting marks there, which is fairly original. Reason why that one is nice and clean around the side is a bit black, is that's where the injector on this engine hasn't actually been firing right down the throat of the inlet port correctly. And that's another topic for a separate video we can talk about later with is the design of the injectors for aftermarket parts when you're fitting them to your engine. You can see on this one, the injector's clearly been facing straight on the, um, on the wall of the two different ports and not actually going right down the throat to the back of the valve. But we'll talk about that later. And you can see the inside of the combustion chamber on the heads that we've removed off the, um, the 01 model WRX block. 
as opposed to the nice fresh new heads of these ones that we're putting back together with the oversized valves and the new set of high performance cams and all the valve training and everything goes with it. So in summary, if you're looking for that next level of performance upgrade for your EJ series engine, the advantage of this type of design, whether it's a GC8 all the way through to uh, MY15 STI as in the EJ series, um, this is a really good repeatable option that will definitely give you guaranteed results as far as gas flow. And you put a set of heads like on this, um, you will then get the guaranteed results. So the other thing that we wanna talk about as well is you'll see inside here, because we're going to the investment with these types of heads, um, the machining in here to suit the head studs because we've spoken about previously, and I'll just quickly show you this engine here. The, he the head goes down on top of the block, the head studs are in place, you put the nuts on the top and you bolt it all down in place um, to hold the head on top of the block. So these are ARP head studs that fit in the original factory thread and you'll see here just down close there's a little dowel that locates the head accurately on top of the block when you put it all back together. So of course then when you go to a more high performance engine you need um, you're approaching the mechanical limits of even those ARP head studs using the original factory ones. You then go to the next size one up, and these ones, there are a couple of different brands, but these ones are the Roger Clark Motorsport ones, which are really, really good. And you can see as soon as you go to that size, you've then got to bore out the head to take advantage of the, the larger size uh, head stud. And then, of course, you need the larger size, size dowel to match it for when it all goes back together because of course you can't use original factory ones. If you're looking for just the original factory type of head stud fitment, then that's what it looks like when it's not in the block, like that one over there. And um, this is a, a good alternative to the original factory Subaru um, head studs and bolts that you really shouldn't reuse because they're supposedly a single use only. So when you go to the larger size head studs, again, that opens up another can of worms because you've got to machine the block to suit the larger size head studs, but the advantage is you've got a lot more ability to crank down the tension of the head onto the block with the head gasket in place. And of course you would normally do that with a closed deck block and all that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do in our next video, we'll show you the block assembly with the pistons and rods of which these heads are gonna fit. But in the meantime, I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you the difference between the different heads and what you can expect if you're looking for that little bit of extra performance and grunt with your EJ Subaru engine build, whether it's a two liter or a 2.5. So stay tuned for our next video. Make sure you check out our new website of mrttuned.com.au. Send us a, um, an email or give us a call here. Um, chase us up on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. But for of course, no matter where you are in the world, I really hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about your car. Bye for watching. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>